Hello students. We are again back with another video for chapter 9 respiration in organisms. And in this video we will be talking of respiration in different organisms. So animals such as elephants, lions, cows, goats, frogs, lizards, snakes, birds have lungs in their chest cavities like the human beings. But there are some other organisms which do not have specialized organ for breathing. For example, let us start with respiration in earthworms. So the skin of the earthworms feels moist. That is why they are called slimy creatures. The reason behind their moist skin is that earthworms breathing organ is in their skin only. They are found in the upper layer of the soil and help in improving the fertility of the soil. It feeds on the dead and decaying matter present in the soil. Then they do not have any specialized respiratory system but they respire through their moist and slimy skin. Due to the moisture present in soil and the mucus present in their body, their body remains always moist and th this moist body helps in the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. Also their skin is very thin and supplied with rich network of blood vessels and the oxygen and carbon dioxide diffuses through them only. Air can easily pass through the skin of an earthworm. The exchange of gases usually takes place through its moist skin and capillaries. In these regions, the oxygen gas is picked up by the hemoglobin, dissolved in the blood and carbon dioxide is released out. Earthworms can also use their skin to move water and salts by active transport. So this is about earthworms which breathe through their skin and the skin is supplied with rich network of blood vessels or capillaries. During rainy season, the soil is too wet that creates a problem in the respiration of the earthworms. So they come out to the surface so that they can respire comfortably. Talking of respiratory structure and breathing mechanism of fish, so the respiratory structure of fish is the gill as we all know. This is the structure of the gill. You can see these are the gills. So what is operculum? It is a movable gill cover that encloses and protects the gills. So just over the gill there is a cover which is known as operculum which can move. Then you can see this is the operculum. This cover, this one is the operculum. Moving on. What does operculum do? It controls or it controls the movement of water in and out of the opercular cavity like a valve. Next, what is gill? Gill arch plus gill filaments makes the gills. Now, usually four gill arches are present on either side of the fish. These gill arches support the gills. So here you can see this is the operculum uh, operculum of this carp is removed to show the gill filaments and the gill arch then gill, gill filaments are very thin you can see they are extremely thin then why do they look red always because of the rich supply of blood gills will be useless if they will be taken out of water why because the gills will stick together and surface area let us now see the structural adaptation of the gills the gills has thin filament membranes so that diffusion can take place rapidly. Rich supply of blood capillaries for efficient exchange and transport of respiratory gases. It is surrounded by water which helps in keeping moist which enables respiratory gases to be dissolved and large surface area of filaments and lamella for exchange of gases is present. Now the mechanism of counter current exchange helps in the exchange of gases and the movement of water. What happens is that the water flows over the gills in one direction. The blood flows in the opposite direction through the blood capillaries in the lamella. As deoxygenated blood enters the blood capillaries, it encounters water with a higher oxygen content. And as the concentration of oxygen is higher in water than in the blood, oxygen diffuses into the blood. And because the concentration of carbon dioxide in the blood is higher than in the water, carbon dioxide will diffuse from the blood into the water. So this is the counter current mechanism that takes place. This is the breathing mechanism that is inhalation and exhalation that is taking place. Water goes inside through the mouth and exchange of gases takes place and the buccal cavity is ex extended during the process of inspiration whereas expiration buccal cavity is closed and water is forced over the gills. So this is how inspiration and exp ex expiration takes place. During inhalation the bony fish opens its mouth and lowers the floor of the mouth. The pressure inside the mouth falls below that of the external pressure. This causes water to enter the mouth. At the same time, it causes the upper column to press against the body. And hence, gaseous ex exchange occurs as water flows post the gills. 
water that passes out through the operculum the operculum opens due to increased pressure in the mouth so this is about inhalation and exhalation and that too respiration in fishes and also earthworm that we have seen in this video so this is all for this video students thank you so much